at it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Insert tab, listen to where you're at, make sure you're on your word. Land. Land. I don't haven't typed anything yet. Exactly. Okay, so let's go through how you will do math class versus how you'll do English classes. I want you to go ahead and do six to the superscript two. Six. How do I get the superscript? Shift control plus. Control shift dash. Go ahead and erase your dash. Not it's it's to the right of your dash. The key is Control to the right. There you go. And now put two. Two. And then hit your space. Space. Now insert up arrow and listen to what Jaws calls that. Sixty-two. Sixty-two. That's a problem. So for math class, all the kids need to go into attributes. To pull up your schemes quickly, just do insert all S. Select the scheme dialog. List one, list two, word classic. Hit C for classic. Left pair and attributes and font info right pair. That's more information than you need. So down arrow to just classic. Left pair and attributes right pair. And enter. Switch the scheme classic. Left pair and attributes right pair. Now insert up arrow. Normal six superscript two. And don't we love that? Okay, we want, we want to turn off our superscript so we can go back to normal. So go ahead and shift control plus again. Control equals. Perfect. And you'll notice JAWS says equals because it's on the same key as your plus. Hit enter to go to your next line. Enter. Okay, the next issue is the teacher is going to ask the kids to do strike throughs when they edit. Uh, so I want you to type the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, and misspell the word brown. Okay, misspell jump. There you go. Jumps with an R. We like that. Okay, and then do an underline because that's the way the work comes to the kids is there's always an underline. The directions are strike through the misspelled word underline, and put underline, the correct underline, spelling underline. on the underline word. Okay, so control left arrow back to the word jumper. Normal underline period. Dog, dog lazy, lazy uh, over, over jump. jumper. Okay, select jump and you're going to strike it through. Jump, jump selected. selected. Control D and then Alt K. Control D, font dialog, font A, 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 and enter. Print view, edit. Now hit your end key. End. Control Shift left arrow to select your underline. 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 Turn underline. on selected. your underline because you want the word underline that you spell correctly. So Control U to turn on underline. your underline and type in jumps. J -U -M -E -S. Okay, now let's read the sentence. Insert up arrow. Normal, the quick round box, box strike through, through jump, jump normal, normal over, over the lazy dog, dog. underline, underline jumps. jumps. Perfect. Hit enter twice. Enter, enter, enter. Okay, I want you to go ahead and just do a series of misspelled words because I want to show you how you can pull up and let the kid know or the student know how many misspelled words they have in the document. So go ahead and misspell the word quick. Q -U -I -A. Okay, enter. Ooh, good words. Okay, misspell uh, over the lazy. O V A R space T A space L A I Okay, so now when the, the student is done, before they hit F7 to do spell check, you want them to be aware of how many misspelled words they have. So you're going to do Alt-Shift-L to let them know. Please wait process, process six, six items. items. Spelling, Spelling errors dialog. dialog. List, list one, one, list two, two jump, jump one, one, six. Now the handy thing about this is let's say you're doing a timing on the students and you want to know how many words per minute they're typing, but you also want to know how many spelling errors they have in it. This is also a quick way to learn this. So now the student is aware they have six misspelled words. They can do the correction in here, so it depends on what uh, technique you're utilizing with them. Let's go ahead and go to jumper. We're going to make that jumps. Hit enter on jumper. 
Okay, they can hit their applications key at this point now. Applications, jumper, J. And down arrow to jumps. Jumps, J. And enter on jumps. Leaving menus, print menu, edit. So that's one technique on how you make your uh, spelling corrections. The other one, of course, is hitting F7. So F7. F7, F7 spelling, spelling grammar, and grammar, colon, dialogue, dialogue capitalization, colon, jump, J, U, M, P, S, suggestions, colon, list box, jump, J, U, M, P, S, all plus a computer frame. You can, you know, since that's in the underline, you can decide to change it or not. We'll just change, no, we'll ignore this one, we'll change the other ones. Do all I to ignore. All I, I, not a dictionary, colon, edit, all plus colon, not a dictionary, colon, quit, U, U, I, A, suggestions, colon, list box, quit, U, U, I, C, A, all plus colon, we love that feedback from Jaws, and sometimes he doesn't give it, that's the reason why you want your Braille display connected all the time. Uh, but we're going to change this so Alt C to change. Alt C, not a dictionary colon, opportunity, O, E, E, R, E, U, N, I, E, Y, suggestions, colon, list box, opportunity, O, E, E, O, R, E, U, N, I, E, Y, change. Alt C, capitalization, colon, quit. I want you to go ahead and escape now, get out of your spelling, because we want to change this back to Word Classic. So if we just want JAWS to read, we want to turn it, change it back to Word Classic. So do insert all S to go to your scheme. Select the scheme dialog. List one, list two. And W for Word Classic. Web red day cloud. Word Classic. Perfect. And enter. Word Classic. Print two. Okay, excellent. So those are the tricks on how you do uh, spelling and strike through. Fantastic.